video, I'm going to show you guys how to download AliExpress videos on Mac. Now, I do have a video I've already posted on YouTube showing you guys how to do this on Windows. So if you guys are looking to do it on Windows, just be sure to go ahead down in the description below or in the comment section, and I'll have a link over to how to do it on Windows there as well. Anyways, on Mac, very easy to do. All you need to do is download Google Chrome. That is the only download that you're going to be downloading other than the actual video itself. So just make sure you have Google Chrome downloaded on your computers. Uh, once you've done that, just go and search for AliExpress and just find any item that has a video on it. So let's just say this one right here for an example. Uh, all you have to do is once you find uh, the video, just make sure it is highlighting the video just like it is right here. You see this little play option. You then want to right click on that and then just click on inspect. It will then pop open this right side right here with all this code in it. All you want to do is above this blue highlighted uh, code, you just want to click on the drop down arrow right here. So just on the one that says div space class video wrap, you just want to open up that section. You'll then see a drop down line of more code. And this link right here, the iCloud link is what we want. So if we just click on it once and try to highlight it just like this, we can then right click on it and then we can then open it in a new tab. And as you guys see right here, here is the video for that product. So I'll show you guys really quickly what it looks like here. Very simple. So now what we want to do to download this is we're just going to click on these three dots over here and then click on download. And then we'll see right here the download has started on our MacBooks. So we'll just give this a second to finish up and I'll show you guys the finished product. And once the video is done downloading here, you can just click on it to open it up. And as you guys see right here, the video will now play on my QuickTime player. So it works great. Now you're able to go ahead and edit this into your own product video if you're looking to do that or anything else. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to do this on Mac. If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.